We're in Office 365, and I'm going to show you how to set up a dynamic distribution group, which is a different type of group than your traditional kind of distribution group for email. Let's first off click on the admin icon. And when you click on that, it will take us to the Office Admin Center that you see here. From here, we're going to click on the bottom left hand icon, and we're going to choose Exchange from the list. Once we click on Exchange, it takes us to this Groups area. Now we're going to go ahead and choose this drop-down where it says New. So make sure you're in Recipients and Groups. And we're going to get the option for Dynamic Distribution Groups. So let's talk about what that means. We get a new wizard that pops up. And we've got a display name. So call it anything you want. We're going to call it Dyn Group for Dynamic Group. And we're going to copy this and paste it into the alias, so that way we have dynegroup at our domain name.com. If we want to, we can put in notes about why it is this group exists for future generations. And then we can also set an owner. So let's go ahead and browse to the owners list. I'll go ahead and choose myself, and we'll click OK. Now we have the option to specify what types of recipients can be in this group. It can be any type of recipient, then we make sure that we have the all recipient types there. If we only want specific types of recipients, such as recipients that have an exchange mailbox, a resource mailbox, a mail-enabled group, et cetera, et cetera, then that will be the only kind of recipients that can be in this group. We're going to go ahead and choose all recipient types. And then we're going to choose the next section, which is really what makes dynamic distribution groups different from other types of distribution groups. And that is it has the option to add rules. Let's go ahead and click Add a Rule. So what our rule is going to be is we're going to say if you are in a specific state in your uh, contact information of your mailbox, then you can be in this group. So let's go ahead and click under Select. We can choose state. We can choose company, department, or custom attributes. We're going to go ahead and choose state, and then we're going to enter a word. So we're going to, we can put any word as long as it matches what's in our uh, state information, which in this case is OR for Oregon. Not Oregon, as many people on the east side of the country say. Actually, I used to say that too when I lived in Chicago. It's Oregon. All right, so now we have OR. We click the plus symbol here, or the add. If you don't do that, then this doesn't get saved. So go ahead and click OK. And now we see that state or province is set to OR. So as long as our, our context, the people that we want to be in this group, have that information under their contact information properties of their mailbox, then they're going to get added in. Let's go ahead and click Save. And now we see our dying group. Now you may have to hit refresh if you don't see it right away, but usually it pops up fairly quickly. And we can see our various different notes on the right hand side about the name, the, the email alias that we have as well. So how can we check to see if we're going to be in this group or not. Well, we can go over to where it says mailboxes and we can double click on a user and we can go where their contact information is. And if you see they're in the state province of OR, then you know when someone emails the dying group at our domain name.com, then uh, this particular person is going to receive that message. So that is how we create a dynamic distribution group and how we create custom attributes to allow users to be in that group.